What's up everyone, this is Mo Tutorials here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix Ethernet cable that doesn't have a valid IP configuration in Windows. So this is a weird error that a lot of people are getting, and it's just silly that it happens. It's 2021, people are still having this error. It's when you're like connecting your Ethernet cable, but your internet's not working. I'm sure you're watching the video from your phone. If we know issues are happening, or from your wireless network, I guess. But anyways, it should be a simple fix. I'm gonna kind of walk you through exactly what you need to do and how to get there. So the first thing is we're gonna kind of we're going to go into regedit. And again, I'll leave this in the description. You guys can kind of like easily just follow along this as well. So in the search bar at the bottom right, just write R E G and it'll pop up. It's the essentially the registry editor. Um, once you go here, you're gonna press yes, and this screen is gonna pop up. You're going to open H key local machine. Then you're going to open system. You're then going to open control current control set. In there, you're going to con open control, and you're going to scroll a little bit down, and you're going to find something called NSI. In here, you're going to open up the first one. There's a bunch of stuff, but open up the first one. And then number 26, you're going to right-click into this, and you're going to go to permissions. In here, you're going to see something called full control. You're going to allow it and press apply and press OK. So you can kind of close this out or just minimize it and you're kind of good to go. The next thing is you're going back into the search bar and you're writing in here C, oops, stah, CMD, which is the command prompt. Don't open it yet. You're going to right click into it and you're going to run as admin because we want to open this as, as an admin. What you're going to write in here is basically this over here. And again, I will leave this for you so you can either just type it exactly or you can just write it in here and you're going to press enter once you type that in. So once this happens, restart your computer and then you should be good to go. Once you restart your computer, reconnect your Ethernet, like you can plug it out, reconnect it back in and you should be good to go. That's it. That's all you have to do and you should be good to go. Uh, let me know your thoughts, comments and uh, questions below. If you guys are still stuck, I will try to walk you through another possible way. Uh, hopefully you're good. If you have other issues that you're happening, let me know those in the comment section below as well. If you overall like this video, please smash that like button. helps a lot. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And that more tutorials out. Peace.